Hello and welcome to the fourth installment of the Tawa podcast. I'm your host, Tawa, and today um, I had a super epic day. Oh yeah, by the way, it's, it's, it's episode four. I noticed that in the last podcast episode, I forgot to change the thing on the screen so it says episode two on the last one, but don't worry, I, I, I will make sure to change this one to say episode four. Um, anyways, yeah, today I had an amazing day. Um, it's uh, Saturday, the 25th of May. Um, it's a special day today, because it is my channel's fourth birthday, and also I'm pretty sure it's National Self Palm Day, where you go off and you make yourself a nice Parmesan sandwich. Um, I could not do that, however, because I don't I don't have any Parmesan cheese, and also I don't really like bread. Um, but anyways, yeah, today was a really good day. Um, so, you see, initially I was planning on going shopping with my mom, which is what I did, except, because, you see, it's Saturday, usually we would do grocery shopping, but we didn't go grocery shopping today because my dad had already done it, like, two days ago. So, yeah, instead, my mom and I, we had plans to just go shopping wherever we wanted, you know? Um, we went to the variety store, and we were going to get sushi for lunch and get a bunch of monster and go to the gym and all that. Oh, um, but, um, then my dad, he was just like, oh no, I, I want to come. And so we had, we had to change up our plans a little bit, sadly, but that's all right. Um, it would be mean if we did not let him come with us. So we did, and so we could not get any monsters, sadly. However, we still ended up, my mom and I, we did end up getting a can of monster because, um, we went to the gym this morning. Okay, let, let, let me just, like, tell you guys about my day from the start. I woke up at six, I made myself a protein shake, I unpacked the dishwasher, I had a shower, I actually drank my protein shake after my shower, um, I got ready to go to the gym, and then at about, like, like, it took a while for my mom to get ready, so we ended up going at about, like, nine or something. Wait, nine? Uh, wait, no, it was either about, like, nine or ten or something. Actually, no, I think it was 9.40 we went to the gym, and we did a really good workout, and then immediately after the workout, we decided to go, uh, what's it called, to the local dairy, and we got ourselves a can of monster each, as well as one for the week ahead. I got a can of Ultra Paradise, and a can of Ultra Strawberry Dreams to have sometime throughout the week, and my mom just got two cans of Ultra Peach Keen, and I also got this really cute, um, uh, well, cute, um, I, I got some sour candy. It's this, um, what's the brand called again? Um, Creepy Cobber, I think. Mega Sour Grape Flavored uh, Slime Candy. It's delicious. It tastes exactly like table grapes with a nice sour kick at the end. Well, actually, no, the sour kick com it comes first and then you get the nice taste of table grapes, which is really nice, but it's full of sugar. Um, but that's right because it's massive and it looks like a toothpaste bottle. It's going to take me forever to eat. Anyways. So we went home, had a shower, I got dressed into my favourite clothes, and also, since I've been using that short scarf got to be glued hairspray, I can, I literally cannot wash my face or move my hair whenever I have a shower, so I just like to tie it up and put my shower cap on, and then, like, my bangs are still out, so I can't really wash my face, or else my bangs will get wet. Um, and then I got out of the shower, um, but I forgot to take my hair out. Um, uh, take my hair out of, uh, out, out, out of the, because uh, I had tied it up, you know, I don't usually tie my hair, but then my mom complimented me on it, so then I just stuck with it. Um, I wore some really cute clothes, you know that, um, shirt, the I Heart Glitter and all things sparkly, that shirt, I wore that today. Um, it's adorable and I love it. Um, I felt like a mermaid, because, you know, the colours, the nice pastel, cute um, yeah, I love that shirt. Um, anyways, um, and then we went shopping, and I had an amazing shopping spree today. Um, first off, we went to drop some bread to my nans, um, so they can have some bread. And then we went to the op shop, my favorite, um, thrift store, and I bought these really cute jorts. I've been meaning to get jorts. Um, I'll show you guys them one day in a video, but, like, they have, like, a pink and white, like, tie-dye design, design on them. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to wear them. Probably in summer. But, like, it's 
like literally not even one to get so um but that's all right I'll just save them for the summer and it's gonna be like totally cute um what else did I get I got this necklace for five to I oh, yeah, by the way the pants were only like three dollars um and then I got like this really cute necklace. I love thrifted jewelry. It's so cute. You know those um earrings that I bought the other day from the same thrift store? Well, yeah. Um, what's it called? The necklace that I bought. It's literally like the exact same, but in a necklace form, and it has like this cute little pendant on it. I'll I'll show you guys. Um, and then I bought this other bracelet, and it's like a snake. It 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 has a snake design, but it's like neon pink and black. And then it has like this, uh, how do I just, it's a shiny, shiny middle bit. And it looks so cute and I love it. It goes so well with some things. Um, I don't usually wear a lot of neon pink, but it looks amazing. <laughs> um, and then after that we went to, where did we go next? Um... Oh yeah, we went to Woolworths and I checked out their Pop-Tart selection. They have an amazing selection of Pop-Tarts. I didn't get any though because I already have some. Um, but they had um, a strawberry one, the chocolate ones, the cookies and cream ones, and these other ones that I've never seen, these brown sugar cinnamon ones, which look really good. Um, and then afterwards we went, where did we go? Um... Oh yeah, we went to my favorite variety store where I bought two cans of um this uh it's like this candy soda. It seems delicious. I haven't tried it yet. There's like it, it, it's candy can. There's a cotton candy one and there is a marshmallow one. I'll try them eventually and perhaps I'll make a short form video about it. Um in which I try them. Um because they they seem delicious. And like they're like no calories in them whatsoever. <laughs> which I find amazing. Um, and then after we went there, then um, I'm pretty sure we, oh yeah, that's right, we went to get sushi for lunch. The sushi it was really, really yummy. I brought, I bought my favorite um lemon prawn. It's like prawn covered in like this really sweet. And actually, the prawn, I, hmm, how do I describe it? Like this, there's a sour lemon coating on it. It kind of has like a honeyish texture to it, right? And um, then you bite into it and like it's just so nice in contrast with like the prawn because like the, it makes the prawn taste so sweet um, and just it's it's crunchy and it's ooey gooey and it's I, I, I love it. It's my favorite. Um, I also bought this. Um, I had this uh, chicken. It was like chicken covered in like this really spicy coating. That was delicious. Um, and then I also got another piece and it was just uh, salmon and hot, hot sauce, which was delicious, um, I love that, and then we went to Farmers, where I had a look at everything, um, I did not buy anything, but I, I, I saw some cool clothes, it's just that all of it was super duper expensive, like, why would I want to buy, like, a $30 shirt, like, just a plain striped um, black and green shirt when I can buy an even cooler one for like what's it called like like a, a, a tenth of the price like come on um and then we went home and I made sugar cookies I love sugar cookies they were delicious um but like there was so much icing um so the sugar cookies are packed with sugar um Thank you to the person who suggested, like, gave me the sugar cookie recipe. You are literally the best. Thank you so much. Um, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow because I'm going to go around to my nan's house and I'm going to have a ham sandwich, which I love. I love ham sandwiches. White bread, no crust, ham and tomato sauce. A lot of tomato sauce. Nothing else. It's delicious. Um, and I'm going to have two sugar cookies, or one sugar actually, no, I'll have two sugar cookies. Um, and perhaps I'll have a piece of fruit as well, and that'll be my lunch for tomorrow. I'll have a protein shake for breakfast as well. Um, or an egg. Actually, do I have a pro- I don't know. I can't decide. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And then we're going to make lasagna for dinner, which is delicious. I love lasagna. I legit have not had lasagna in like a year. Or, I don't really remember, but 
I like lasagna and I'm looking forward to having it tomorrow. And I had a leftover boil up for dinner tonight. That was delicious. Um, we got some bread as well. Um, I don't usually like bread, but like the bread that we had, it was actually kind of nice. We had it with butter. Um, it, it had like a, a texture of a donut. I forgot what it's called. Um, but that was nice. Oh yeah, by the way, Blackfoot Brides released a new music. Like, oh my god, like yesterday I was just sitting, right? And then, because like, I hadn't checked my like social media all the day. And then I just went on to like, you know, the BDB Army group and that I'm a part of. And like, they, they, they released my friends. Like, oh my god. At, like, uh, it's, they, it, <sighs> words can't describe it. Actually, no, words can describe it. It's it, 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 spectacular. It was spectacular. And I love it. Um, and they released a music video, which I watched today as soon as I woke up. Um, it's, 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 it's amazing. Like, the music video, it's, it's basically just, like, black and white footage of Andy looking gorgeous as ever and he's he's looking at his knives um but yeah um stream uh black Veil rides cover of my friends from sweeney todd it's like like i i love sweeney todd i've said this many times but it is literally one of my favorite musicals um well it's actually one of the only musicals i like um i like sweeney todd cats and uh, the rocky horror picture show those are like my favorite musicals. I'm sure that there are some other ones. I just can't think of them right now. Um, but yeah, and uh, 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 yeah. By the way, I I think that I mentioned this in the last episode of my podcast, but like I legitimately have not had waffles in like forever. Um, what's it called? Like I've been meaning to have waffles, right? It's just that every Sunday. I've just been waking up and I'm just like, oh, I'll have a Pop-Tart today. Or, like, maybe one day I might have, like, fried egg with tomato chutney. Or I'll just have my classic protein shake. Um, I'm not sure why I haven't made waffles in forever. Well, actually, no, um, I think I might know why. Because, you see, like, my parents, they have been telling me that waffles are, like, super duper unhealthy. Um... And so, um, I, I just haven't made that. Cause like they're in such, like when I make waffles, they're in such large batches, right? And by such large batches, I mean, there's only like, like, like six or seven waffles per every time I make them every Sunday. And you see, it's gotten to the point where my family, they're all on like diet, like everyone in my household, my mom and my dad, um, they, they're kind of on diets. And I know that having waffles every Sunday isn't exactly the best thing for me. And so, like, um, if they're not having waffles, then that's just a bunch of waffles for me. Um, which seems spectacular, right? But at the same time, it's not that good for you. And I'd also like to, like, be mindful of my health in that. So, um, yeah, I, I, I tried halving the recipe. Um... And that, that, it, it worked out well. It's just that I couldn't be bothered, like, halving the egg. Or, like, halving everything. And also, like, the normal recipe, it's burnt into my mind. So, um, yeah. And also, I, I did try freezing waffles. Don't freeze your waffles. Actually, no, you can freeze your waffles. It's just that they might taste a little sad. Um, instead, put them in the freeze. I mean... Yeah, don't don't, ref don't don't freeze your waffles. Instead, just put them in the fridge, like just the normal fridge. Don't have them like freezing. Just have them a little bit cold, and in Glad Wrap. I love Glad Wrap. Um, well, my mom loves Glad Wrap. Um, she always used to like. Oh, actually, no, she still does this. But she always wraps everything in like five bajillion coats of Glad Wrap. Um, and so if you look in our refrigerator, it's mainly Glad Wrap. But that's all right. I uh, also um, what's it called? Um, I reached today. I reached my two hundred and twenty-seven day Duolingo streak for my Arabic Duolingo lessons. Um, 
did I learn anything? Um, well, I mean, I, I've memorized the entire Arabic alphabet, but, like, I only know how to say a, a couple of phrases, such as, um, Anna Georges Bob Janil, I think. Sorry about my bad pronunciation. I'm trying, okay? But that translates to, um, George has a pretty door. Um, I'm not sure when I'm ever going to use that phrase, but, like, I mean, hey, if, if I'm ever, like, traveling around the world and there's a guy named George and he has a pretty door and he speaks Arabic, then I can tell George that he has a pretty door. Um, another phrase that I learned, I'm not sure if it's, it's, it's entirely correct, but it's like, um, I tarafu an hiati hi al naim, I think, and it translates to um, I acknowledge that my life is bliss, or something. I forgot where I learned it from, but that's that that just is in my head a lot. Um, and uh, not sure when I'm ever going to be saying. But actually, I I, I have no clue why I'm even learning Arabic. Um, I guess that a few months ago, I just figured that the language, it seemed like, I, I thought that it looked cool, um, which it does, um, but now I can, I, now I can just read all of, all of the symbols and I can say, like, two phrases, which I, I think is pretty beneficial, I, even, even though I've only been learning it for, like, like, 227 days. I know that it's not that long since, like, most people have, like, what, like, five year long Duolingo, I mean, five year long Duolingo streaks. Um, I've actually been using Duolingo, like, on and off since I was, like, nine or, like, eight or something. Um, I know how to speak a bit of Japanese. Um, used to be kind of fluent. Um, you see, my brother, he used to, like, um, force me to learn Japanese when I was, like, nine. Um, and I started taking Duolingo lessons for it. Um, well, I mean, I've, I've always taken, like, on and off, I have been taking Japanese Duolingo lessons. It's just that now I've settled with Arabic, but I still know how to speak a lot of Japanese because my school does have a Japanese class, which I decided to take. And hey, guess what? I passed that class with flying colors, which I'm very proud of. Um... I have memorized the entire Hiragana alphabet. Oh, well, the symbols. Um, and also, uh, I, I used to, like, I've, I used to um, know, like, all of the katakana symbols as well and a bit of kanji. But then I just stopped speaking Japanese for a few years. Now that I'm, like, 13 and a half, I've literally forgotten most of it. Um, but that's all right, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that someday I might learn it relearn it for some reason because la language learning it's pretty cool right um I'm also fluent in English and I'm slightly fluent in Simlish I know I've mentioned this before but I can actually speak Simlish you know the language that they speak in the Sims 4 it sounds like gibberish but it's not actually gibberish there's actually an entire language I'd kill to have a Simlish dictionary but I don't think that those are available to the public. Um, so one day, if I'm older, um, the Sims 4 team, they should, like, they should um, give me a Sims 4 dictionary so that I can be fluent in Simlish. Actually, you know what would be cool? If, like, I were to, like, adopt a kid or something and, like, not speak to it ever in English or in any normal human language... And instead, I bec I will become fluent in Simlish, and I will make the child fluent in Simlish as well. And then, um, I'll, like, let it off into the world without only knowing Simlish, and just, like, monitor how it survives. I think that'll be pretty cool. I mean, I, I hope that it's legal, um, but, like, I'll, I'll, I'll just have to, like, pry on that, I guess. Well, pry on that, actually... I'm not religious, so I can't exactly pray on that. Um, 
hey, look, there's only a few seconds left of this thing. Um, I hope that you enjoyed listening to my calming voice talking about stuff. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all of the latest updates. Um, and I'm not sure when the interviews will be coming back. Interviews are scary for me. Um, love you all. Uh, bye-byes. Uh,